No, I ain't perfect, but I'm learning how to be the best I can. But I got demons collecting dust. And I buried them so damn far down so they can't find their way back up. So don't stay my kindness for weakness, cause I can flip that switch. And you can find out quick. There's a hell on the other side But you ain't met yet, tread real light Dare you to light that fuse Cause I can be a loose Cross the line, I'll call you bro Promise way and push come to show But you don't want that smoke Better the devil you know than the devil you know Alright we're going to give the view of a semi-truck driver through Chattanooga, Tennessee. The big choo-choo, as they like to call it. Choo-choo Chattanooga. Hopefully it'll be uneventful and we don't have nobody cut us off or try to run into us or anything stupid. Just never know coming through here. sign back here said Lookout Mountain. We went there. We went to Lookout Mountain, uh, Ruby Falls. I think actually I might have put some pictures of that online. I'm not sure. It was pretty neat. You hike into a mountain, get to the end, and there's a big waterfall at the end of it. It's all the way up in a mountain. Pretty awesome. I've had people actually come through here. Actually, it's right back here, a little ways back, if I remember right. But I guess the car thought I didn't pass fast enough to suit him. He passed me, come flying up beside me, and jumped in front of me, and slapped on his brakes, and tried to brake check him. All because he didn't think I passed the vehicle in front of me fast enough. Pick up all the background noise of the Jake brake and the truck and all that. Hopefully, anyway. I guess I'm still learning, is what I should say. I guess if there comes a time there's nothing else to learn in the world, it'd be pretty boring world, I guess. I guess the uh, Tennessee River off to our left over there. I'm not sure if you can see it. But angle of the camera and on. It should be able to. Pretty wide lens on this thing. Wide view. Coming in the downtown part of Chattanooga here real soon. Sugar's ribs, voted best in the city. But my hand some of those ribs, my belly's growling. There's a place up here, and you come into town, we'll go up here and go across this bridge to the right hand, and like four lanes all combined going through town right there. You 
usually it's always a big old mess just right on the other side. They, they call it the cut. You got a, a, a steep little hill going out of, on the other side over there of the cut. You always got a bunch of the trucks and stuff that don't have a lot of power or just don't know how to drive one of the two. That usually gets real bad congested right here. Got up on there and he gave me a little bit of a ride down through here. Save on some fuel. Besides getting uh, external mics to help work on my uh, audio, I ordered a, uh, a set of three batteries with a charger that charges three batteries at a time. That way, I'll have a total of four batteries. Seems like I got the, uh, the DJI Osmo Action 3 camera. Seems like the batteries don't last that long, you know. Why are we all slowing down here? About to get up close and personal with him. <laughs> Just never know what traffic's going to do coming through here. Going up there about another half mile, probably what they call the cut. everybody out of our way we usually do pretty good up over there but keeping everybody out of the way is the hard part it's like this guy here we gonna end up stomping on the freaking brake before we even start up there just because this guy wants to piddle dip down the road and don't care what nobody else is doing Frickin' roads are up right through here. Last few years, this section right here has been rough all the time. Alright, it should be better to rest the way up over here. And on. Strength a little more than that freight hauler wants to bear, I guess. I need them all get down. We call this big cat country. A big old cat motor to climb on up these mountains. <laughs> oh Lord. Cars, vans, like that one ahead of us, whatever you call them. They don't really care about the trucks behind them getting to run at the hill. They'll hold us up at the bottom and take off up the hill, and there we are, left stuck climbing slowly. And 
easily get thrown congested up here right before you get on I-75 where I-75 and 24 meet it's back and just the right in there they got a bunch of construction going on right now earlier I was watching a video actually of a guy he does videos on how to use the DTI mic and stuff I was watching a video I'm trying to learn how to use it basically I know there's like mic gains transmitter gains stuff like that yeah. turn the mic gain up just a little bit to try to get my audio louder than the truck and there's also uh, a setting in there that I turned on where it's supposed to try to concentrate on the vocals a little bit better, like me talking rather than background noise also. When I get home and get the computer fired up, go to edit the videos, stuff like that, then I don't know if it's actually working like I want it to or not. I don't know. If I can't get my audio to where people can actually hear me in a truck, then I'll probably quit doing anything in a truck because just no sense of doing a video if nobody can hear what I got to say. school bus but they do whatever they can do to jump in front of a big truck same old story every day people out front of you home up stop in front of you cut you off whatever they can do just to be an aggravation well to be honest with you right back there that's Usually where it's pretty bad congested, especially on a Friday, and it is Friday, so we'll see we got real lucky today. Look at this asshole. Wow, seriously. So sick and tired of the way people act. Jump over in front of me and slam on his freaking brakes. Some people they just they don't know no better, and some people just are buttholes. <laughs> but it's the same story every day. Happens every single day. People do stuff like that to just saw there. If I could uh, have enough battery life to let this thing run all day and just collect the stuff like that, I'd have enough to make hours worth of videos, probably. I guess, I think they said they're putting in two more lanes per side up there. This is a little part of 75 where it comes up through town. Which I can definitely use it because it's a lot of traffic coming through here. It's not very much further on down south to get into Atlanta. I mean, 
traffic really gets bad down there. really consider Chattanooga here. It's, this is the outskirts of it, I guess. Knock on wood. It's uh, going relatively well today. Especially right now, it's what? Is it 10 45 right now? I got held up pretty bad this morning having to switch out trailers and stuff. I actually got one of my old trailers behind me. I went to hook up to the new trailer this morning and the plug, I guess, for the, the tarp plug hooked up right or something because I couldn't get my electric tarp to roll. So I ended up just hooking to one of the old trailers taking it this morning. Had to drop a load off there at the feed mill. Time I got all that stuff done, it's shoot, I'm a good probably hour or more, hell yeah. Right about now. Probably an hour and a half. Almost two hours behind between all that stuff this morning and trucks ahead of me over there waiting to load. I'm going to just say I'm probably two hours behind schedule, so the longer you wait until the day, usually, you know, the worse it gets. So being as far behind schedule as I am and coming through here, even this speed, you know, it's, we're doing pretty good. slow traffic. As per usual, I'm sure it'll be a freight hauler or something, but they're riding in the middle lane. We'll not get over in the right lane where slow vehicles belong, so you can just ride up the middle lane and block everybody. Uh, you see that orange sign right there? I, well, you've seen it. Right on the corner, you can see all the, the orange paint feet all flowing. Looks like there's been a lot of antennas smack that thing. <laughs> I don't know what mile marker we at, seven. Go up here to mile marker 20s where Cleveland, Tennessee's at. That's uh, my exit. Excuse me. My exit's exit 20. Get off there. Start heading east back towards Hayesville, North Carolina. This traffic will break up here for too long. Normally does anyway. Well, I guess I'll just go ahead and sign off from here because we're out of Chattanooga now. But if you made it this far, I sure do appreciate you watching. If you would hit that like and subscribe button notification that way you'll be notified anytime any of my videos come up and I sure do appreciate you all right I hope you have a good day bye now